So we'll just let you go into your presentation now. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, so my name is Luke DeLaverne and um, with Bethany. And so uh, in 2015, we started a program called Safe Families for Children. And the way this uh, really innovative program works is that we work with families that are in transition, in crisis, children who are on the verge or at risk of going into foster care. Um, and what we do is we recruit and train volunteers in the community to provide care for those children and to provide coaching for the parents. And so what we've discovered over the last four years is that 95% of the parents who are coming to us and asking for help with their children, uh, which is over 300 parents in Davidson County, they're all living in multi-generational poverty. And many of them are underemployed or completely unemployed. And they feel like they have no value, they have no worth, they don't feel like they're, they have any skills that will translate into a, uh, an employable position. And so our, our dream is to be able to begin providing um, a family lead coach. And so that person would provide career counseling for um, those biological parents who are struggling with employment, struggling to get on their feet. The goal of Safe Families is that these children do not go into state foster care. They stay with a trained and approved background checked family in the community voluntarily during a period of instability or transition. So the families are, the parents are often going through maybe rehabilitation, they are being evicted from their home, um, they're going through some kind of family um, separation of some sort and they have nowhere for their children to go. They don't have support in the community. So we build that support around them. It's been highly effective. 93% of our children are reunified with their biological caregiver that they came to us with. Uh, only a small percentage ever have to be reported to the Department of Children's Services. So we're having an incredible effect with these families, but what we're seeing is long term is that the parents are struggling so much with employment and trying to create stability because they, uh, they don't have the, the income uh, to be able to generate for, their, uh, for caring for their children. So that's our goal is to provide aptitude testing, career counseling uh, to these parents. Now there's two barriers that we found because you might be thinking, well, there are resources in the community that do career counseling. There's a lot of career centers. The problem that we're seeing is that these people who are struggling with transportation, um, that's often an issue. Even though we have public transportation, they're using that to get to, um, for only very, very essential type of meetings uh, that they have to be at. Um, the other piece of it is part of the reason why they're not using public transportation is childcare. So they can't go to a job interview because they don't have anyone to watch their children. Um, and then they don't feel confident enough that they can get a job because they're, once they have a job, they're not going to have anyone to watch their children. So what our plan is, is to utilize safe families, which we already have this enormous um, network of volunteers that are available, that have been trained and approved, who can watch and provide childcare. So we eliminate the barrier of childcare and then have our lead family coach uh, who would be a, uh, serve as a case manager role. Uh, we just like the term family coach. It comes across as a little less um, traditional in terms of how they would provide services. So they come alongside that caregiver, that parent, and they would take them to job interviews, help them with the resume, um, make sure that they have clothing that's appropriate for an interview, um, do job searching, and teach them the skills for what they would need to do to be able to find employment in Davidson County. So that's, that's our vision. That's what we'd really like to accomplish, and we feel very confident that we could do that um, through this grant. Can I jump into the question? Yeah. Uh, are you currently partnering with any Metro... Um, agencies in your work? 
Um, <clears throat> we do have a good partnership with the or social services or with, or yeah, 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 good so. question, good question. Mm -hmm. We partner primarily with DCS, um, okay. so that would be state function. Um, so that's that's our primary partner with our, our families tell us that we work what you're with. Doing with them? Yeah, yeah, okay. so they refer families to us whenever they have an investigation of child neglect. Uh, that they realize this child should not go into foster care, they send that family directly to us so that we can provide um, voluntary uh, child support while, um, while the family is getting case management through DCS. How long have you been partnering with DCS? We've been partnering with DCS since 2015, since we started Safe Families. So Safe Families is the program within Bethany Christian Services? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What is Bethany Christian Services? Yeah, so Bethany Christian Services is a social service agency. There are various programs that we do. It's in 37 different states. Um, we, we do pregnancy counseling for women facing an unplanned pregnancy. Uh, we have various adoption programs, international adoption, foster care adoption, infant adoption. Um, and then we also provide uh, Safe Families as a new uh, service that we found is needed in the community because when families want, when parents want to parent their children, but they don't have the resources, that's where Safe Families comes in. We recruit volunteers from the community to surround them with support that they don't have. Um, <clears throat> and then we also provide refugee foster care. That's a newer program that we, we stepped into this year. How did you get into that work? Into refugee foster care? Yeah, well, there's a, an enormous need. There's currently a surge of um, immigrants at the border. And so uh, the Office of Refugee Resettlement at the federal level, they said we need more uh, foster parents because when the children cross the border from Central America, they're often placed into shelters. And so we said we, we have a better plan. And so Bethany has various transitional foster care programs across the nation. The kids are only in that program for 90 days and then the goal is to reunify them with a sponsor family. Their families are sending them up to the United States because they already have family members who are in the U.S. So we're locating those families and getting the kids to them as quickly as possible. Can you talk a little bit about the curriculum that you all use for um, career coaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in our partnerships, we have um, growing partnerships with um, Crossroads Consulting, uh, Thrive Consulting and Panache. Um, so primarily, the goal would be aptitude testing. So utilizing the Highlands Ability Battery, um, which is considered the gold standard of uh, natural ability testing. So when these parents come to us, as we put them through the Highlands Ability Battery, they would conduct. They would go through. Uh, it's a three-hour assessment, and what it comes produces a re several reports that show them where they are naturally gifted. So once they discover that they do have worth, they do have natural abilities, they do have skills that can be translated into the workforce, that's where the career coaching uh, takes place. But the, the heart of it is the Highlands Ability Battery. Great question. What's your uh, operating budget? The operating budget for the Safe Families program is 92000 How many volunteers do you have? Currently, we have 32. What part of town are you in? We're in Metro Center. Okay. Uh, we're just down the road from the Titans practice facility. Where do most of your families come from? Most of our families come from Metro Nashville, so they're right in Davidson County. Many of our volunteer families are from around the various counties in that surround Davidson County and several Partnerships have happened recently within Davidson County, so we're very excited to have fam uh, volunteer families in the community that these uh, that the families in crisis are living. Is there a particular area within Davidson County that we should be aware of, or is it all over? It, it's been all over. It's okay. been all over. We get referrals from all over Nashville. It's a good question. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Okay. Yeah.